Good morning, Peter Lang, Safari West. Um, I've sort of been laying low for the last few weeks. We had a great opening. Uh, the weather was beautiful. Um, but as you're all aware now, we've uh, had a new round of fires, and Safari West and my home have both been spared. But the damage has been horrendous. And so I just want to go out on a little cruise here this morning and uh, one, show you uh, the lingering smoke, which has actually lifted a bit. Uh, it's not near as bad as it was. And uh, we'll go out and see a few animals and I'll chat a little more as we go along. We're approaching a little group of zebras and uh, they don't seem to be bothered one bit by the fire. Let's see what happens when we drive by them. I'll put my window down. And How you guys doing, huh? No, you're doing fine. Okay, let's let's keep going on. We'll look around and see what else we can find. One of the things that is uh, I've become acutely aware of during the course of this fire, which has not affected us tremendously, just the smoke and the worry. But you know the Tubbs fire which obviously did direct us, you know, lost my homes and we lost uh, facilities at Safari West, but we were so involved and so busy that I really didn't have much time to reflect on it. Now watching this fire and watching in particular the damage that has been done in Napa. The Napa fire started Sunday morning early. I went over to Napa via Calistoga to check on a friend of mine's house. And at that point the fire was, I think, under 500 acres. Uh, it is now over 38,000 acres with zero control and confinement. Um, but the weather on Sunday night, the winds were 40, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. Today and last night, the winds were dead calm, and so that's been a tremendous advantage. The, the damage in Napa has, has been really severe. Uh, I think seven wineries have burnt in total. Uh, a number of visitor serving facilities, Calistoga Ranch has been severely damaged, Meadowood, a beautiful, beautiful facility has been severely damaged. Uh, the Castillo de Amorosa, a castle imported from Italy, built by Dario Satui. By the way, Dario used to be Daryl to me, and I always called him Daryl. With this loss, he deserves to be called Dario, but it, it really it, it is a shocking loss, and we're going to cut to a few pictures that we have of damaged properties to just barely touch on the severity of what went on in the Napa County. In this area, it's going to be particularly noticeable how little grass there is here. And this is what happens to us seasonally at Safari West. The property, because of the size of it and the size of the animal collection, does get overgrazed. But this overgrazing at this point of the year is a tremendous fire break. And I remember in the Tubbs fire, a couple of the neighbors came over and thanked us for having this tremendous fire break, which in a great part saved the Lock Haven neighborhood next door to us from burning. Holy moly, look at those kids. Really a magnificent um, Yeah, that's the way it is. Good morning once again. Well, it's early afternoon, it's Wednesday. The fires are 
still only about 5% contained. There is continuing damage. I found out last night that uh, one of our employees, Thousand Acre Ranch, burned up in the Salomon Forest. One of our employees, Yarbrough Mix, and her husband, same problem. They didn't lose their house. They lost all their outbuildings. Most of their livestock are accounted for. But it just, you know, things continue to sort of hit home and uh, aren't perfect. And um, just there are, excuse me, don't worry about it. Um, there are predictions for high winds again this evening and tomorrow. We're getting re prepared once again to do all nighters, watching and making sure that. Fire doesn't come roaring up or creeping up on it. But it's a real concern. Um, and I'll try and keep you updated. I'm trying to make this more personal than what you might read in the newspaper uh, and certainly factual. Um, so, you know, until the next time we uh, chat, thank you very much. Bye bye.